Mike Concannon, Fishing Dartmouth. Uh, today I'm fishing with Mike Bailey off the embankment for grey mullet. So come along and watch how the experts really do it. Okay, well the tackle I'm using is basically a very straightforward mullet rig tonight, today. A uh, 13 foot rod, uh, two pound carp rod, so it's a very, very powerful rod. It needs to be powerful and very, very flexible as you can see looking at the uh, bend on the rod there because sometimes you're going to have to stop uh, fish going into pontoons. Uh, it's very tidal here so the important thing is always to have a plummet. Um, I like to keep my tackle very simple so I'm using six pound line here because there are a lot of pontoons. Straight through to a spade end hook, uh, a number eight drennan at the end. Very powerful hook, very strong, it's never going to bend out, very sharp, chemically sharpened. Um, the shotting arrangement on my tackle is that I keep the small shot clustered at the bottom and I change the shot round. Um, I have a simple chubber float which is holding about the equivalent of three BB shot, the uh, big shot. Um, you need to be able to keep your bait just off the bottom or within an inch or two of the bottom um, and you need it shotted right down so that any suggestion of a bite you can strike at immediately. That also means that your reel here, in this case it's a, a, a very good solid uh, uh, Shimano um, Stradic reel um, with a very very lightly set clutch so that if a fish does take then on those first few plungers, when it starts to take off, then it can give line immediately. Very often you lose a fish in those first few moments if you don't let it take line away, especially if it's a powerful fish and you hook it close in. Grey mullet. One that has been bobbing around, Mike. Yeah. Just tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny little uh, bites. No, I'll have one in a minute. Here we go, he's ours. <laughs> well done, Michael. <laughs> pretty fish, isn't it? They are pretty, yeah. Beautiful. You can go back in now. Yeah. 